this faux herringbone brick wall, we will be using Benjamin Moore's satchel, Moroccan red, and black all in a flat finish. Evenly load a 2 inch dense foam roller with satchel and go in and add just a little bit of red and black paint to the roller just to give it some depth. Hang the herringbone brick wall stencil at the top of your wall and lightly roll paint over the stencil. A faux finishing technique is applying the paint unevenly for a more authentic look. You don't want to press too hard or that will cause paint seepage under the stencil. Now it's time to create the whitewashed look. Take your base coat color, Benjamin Moore Navajo White, and evenly apply it to a 2 inch dense foam roller. Lightly roll Navajo White over the previously painted area to create the whitewashed brick look. You want to cover a majority of the herringbone brick wall stencil, but this part can also be uneven to make it look more natural. Wait two to three minutes for the paint to dry completely. Once the paint is dry, easily realign your stencil with the built-in registration marks and repeat. Continue stenciling to the bottom of your wall. Once you reach the baseboard, take a 3 quarter inch professional stencil brush and pounce the paint into the corner for crisp lines. The whitewash portion of the bottom of your wall doesn't have to be so precise. Once you have completed a full column, repeat the process at the top of your wall with a free top edge stencil to fill in that empty space. A simple trick to make your wall look even more realistic is just watering down some gray paint and outlining the bottom of your bricks with a flat brush to create a really awesome shadow effect. 